Holly has almost finished designing the first leg of its bus rapid transit system. So how effective can the system actually be? CBS 17's Steve Sprasia visited Richmond, Virginia to get answers. Up till now, we've only seen computer-generated rendering showing us how Raleigh's bus rapid transit system will look. But now, we're getting a look at a real bus rapid transit system in operation in Richmond, Virginia, which uses dedicated lanes like this on parts of its route, similar to what we'll be seeing here. And though Richmond had success with its system, there were some growing pains. Do you have to change any of the uh, streets to accommodate the bus lanes and still keep regular traffic? Yes, quite a construction project. There was a lot of left and right turns that were allowed in the corridor. So that was really big in terms of people had now had to turn pockets in certain areas. The rapid transit buses have special signals in their lanes to allow for better traffic flow, but it also took some getting used to. The median lanes were very, very confusing for people for a very, very long time. One thing that helped was painting the bus lanes a bright red to let drivers know to keep out of them. Initially, as you can see in this video provided by the GRTC transit system, the lanes were simply marked with a dividing line. We did have concerns or issues with people not realizing they were in a dedicated lane um, with just having it say uh, bus only. So it has made some difference with that, where people actually realizing, I mean, the red paint is so stark, you definitely know you're in a bus only lane at that time. Ridership surprised developers. Initially, they anticipated 3,500 riders a day. A week after the system opened, they were carrying double. It now averages around 8,000. But the transit system says it took a lot of work ahead of time to get folks to try the new bus rapid transit system. A lot of outreach was done, lots and lots of outreach. Also, a big piece of that is we did free rides. Last year, Richmond's bus rapid rapid transit system carried more than 5 million passengers. And while everybody who hopped on board that bus may not have been an automobile owner, that's still a significant number of vehicles taken off the city streets, no longer clogging up traffic. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia. All right, Steve.